Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and uh, today we have something different instead of the typical uh, fancy cover unboxing. This is uh, something simple as you can see. These are just plain white boxes. There's a pair of them and uh, these are because that's because these are actually uh, production samples from AMD and uh, these are the HD 67 a rather 6670 and an Radeon HD 6570. These are of course the uh, Turks based on the Turks uh, GPU. Uh, we've already seen the 6800 series and a 6900 series which are in the high end and uh, these are going to be the entry level sub $100 graphic card market uh, GPUs and we'll start unboxing them and uh, see the, uh, these are production samples so this is going to be plainly in uh, clean in a normal packaging as they comes with a, these reference cards but they're just basically just uh, basic information what what uh, these cards are and how the uh, AMD test it from from their uh, engineering labs and uh, Blood first one, which is the larger one, of course. The this is the 6670. See, it is a even though it is the slot in the back is a single slot, the heatsink is actually a dual cooling solution. Now, keep in mind that these are early production samples, and uh, more what uh, usually happens is that uh, AMD's partners are free to design their own PCBs and implement their own cooling solutions and that's what usually happens. This is the reference design. As you can see it is low profile and uh, the 6670 can actually output uh, up to four displays with a, with a display port you can output two more. It has a VGA and a DVI on the right side. Um, for some reason this uh, production sample does not have a, an HDMI out but the 6670 actually has support for uh, HDMI 1.4 for 3D Blu-ray 3D playback. So I'm I'm assuming that uh, most manufacturers or uh, AMD's partners will opt for a HDMI 1.4A instead of the aging VGA uh, uh, connector. So as you can see, uh, the cooling solution has a copper base. And it has a about I'm, I'm thinking about a 60 or 50 millimeter fan. And of course, since these are low power cards, there are no power connectors needed from your power supply. All the power it, it draws from is through from the uh, PCIe slot. And uh, there's also no extra crossfire connector because you don't need to. You could probably crossfire a pair of these, but you don't need to to use the crossfire bridge. Now we're going to look at the other one, which is the 6570. Also part of the Turks line. There you go. Let's open it and the box away. can see this one has a uh, more modest cooling solution still has the copper base and uh, but it still has the low profile as well and at the back it has a display port a DVI and a VGA output although like I mentioned earlier uh, most most AIBs or AMD will most likely opt for the, for the HDMI 1.4a output instead of the VGA because it has uh, it supports more uh, it supports uh, Blu-ray playback and uh, of course this one also has no power connector for from your power supply as it also draws uh, draws power for, from the PCIe slot we will measure later on uh, what the power consumption are and just how, how low power these and how well, well, they're supposed to be low power consumption, and 
but they should also be enough for uh, entry level gaming which is uh, about uh, medium settings would you say and uh, so what we're going to do is uh, we're probably going to run these on something uh, more realistic instead of running it in a 6 core or quad core processor maybe run it on a dual core entry level system something similar to what uh, most people can buy prepackaged from uh, from retail manufacturers like a like an entire system so the because these guys what will this these cars are perfect for upgrading from an IGP for example if you don't have a powerful uh, power supply all right so uh, let's fire these things up and to our test system and see what the benchmark numbers are before I forget to mention the HD 6570 actually will come in different variations uh, this one is actually the GDDR5 version and it has 512 megabytes of memory but there's also a 1 gigabyte version and has, there's a, it has a DDR3 memory uh, obviously the GDDR5 memory uh, has a higher bandwidth than the DDR3 RAM and uh, but I think they're 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 for sale around the same price, approximately seventy nine dollars. While the HD sixty six seventy is around ninety nine dollars. 